And also this thing right here um, is going, yeah, it's something I, I mean, that's a finite value of some sort and this thing right here is negative pi squared over 12. N never mind what this right here is. Never mind my mental arithmetic skills. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. We are back at, well, dealing with the Dirichlet eta function right here. Or should I say we would like to translate our eta function of 2, we were calling it eta in the previous video, into our zeta of 2 algebraically. Because, well, zeta of 2 is nothing but the basal problem and this thing right here evaluates to pi squared over 12. But we know that the basal problem is nothing about pi squared over 6. So what do we want to do? We want to algebraically manipulate this thing right here into our, well, zeta of 2. In the previous video, we were calling this thing right here just eta. And what we did, we were using eta to evaluate a sum running over the reciprocals of all the odd numbers squared, leaving us with pi squared over 8. Right. <laughs> And I would like to go through this process just sketch-wise a little bit once again. Watch the previous video, link will be in the description. So what we were doing, we were using our eta and we were adding eta over 2 squared to it. Then we were adding eta over 2 to the third power to it, up until infinity. So eta over 2 to the fourth power, blah, blah, blah. What we arrived at was that this was nothing but 3 over 2 times eta, okay, coolio, but this in itself is nothing but pi squared over 8, because eta right here is pi squared over 12, okay. But also, like I said, it was the sum over all the reciprocals squared, okay, 2k plus 1, but this thing squared. Now, if you trust the Peano axioms, you might notice that we can multiply both sides by 2 because 2 is not equal to 0. Okay, so let's do this to find a new expression for 3 times eta. 2 is the successor of 1, meaning it's not equal to 0 if you take a look at the Peano axioms. Just if you were wondering if 2 is indeed equal to 2. Not in real numbers, but in modular 2. Okay, never mind. So, this leaves us with 3 times eta is nothing but 2 times the sum over all the reciprocals of the odd numbers squared. How is this going to help us? How exactly? Well, if you write this out, the sum, maybe you already get a short glimpse of why this is useful to have. I'm going to show you what we're going to do now. We are going to subtract eta from 3 times eta, leaving us with 2 times eta, okay? so. 3 times eta minus eta is nothing but, well, 2 times eta. How is this helping us? Well, let's write out what this is actually going to evaluate to. So this is nothing but, okay, we have this sum at first, 2 times the sum over the reciprocals of all the odd numbers squared, 2k plus 1 squared, but also eta was nothing but this thing right here, okay, pi squared over 12, never mind, but it's also this sum right here, okay? So negative sum running from k equals to 1 to infinity in this case, Dirichlet eta function of 2, negative 1 to the k plus 1 power over k squared. And this thing right here is basically the hardcore way you could say if you derive it from, scra from scratch all the way through, le leaving you with this um, pi squared over 8 thingy. But yeah, we have derived a lot of stuff before, so this makes stuff way easier. So let's write out all those terms right here and see what we actually get on the first one. We are going to get just two times all the reciprocal of the odd numbers squared, okay? So we are going to get that two times eta is nothing but, okay, this is two over one squared plus two over three squared plus two over five squared plus da da da. Okay, coolio, that's it. Now, this is our good old Dirichlet eta function just with the sign switched, okay? So what we are going to get is nothing but negative 1 over 1 squared. And maybe you can already see where this is going. So this is really quite cool. And then plus 1 over 2 squared, negative 1 over 3 squared, positive 1 over 4 squared, one less iteration, negative 1 over 5 squared, plus dot dot dot. Okay? <laughs> now, 
we came pretty far because you see our sums right here are absolutely converged and they converge to an actual value so this thing right here is nothing but um, pi squared over 4 in this case because it's 2 times this thing right here I oh, know it's uh, yeah pi, pi squared over 4 it should be and also this thing right here um, is going yeah it's something I I mean that's a finite value of some sort and this thing right here is negative pi squared over 12 N never mind what this right here is never mind my mental arithmetic skills my point is they converge meaning we can actually just interchange stuff here so you can drag the limits to infinity to the outside and then you can rearrange terms and drag the limit as n approaches infinity for example once again into here that's good because meaning we have two times all the odd terms right here also we have the additive inverses but with a one up here meaning this right here is going to cancel out with the two up here leaving us with one over one squared this thing right here is going to cancel out with this two leaving us with one over three squared and so on this is cancelling out with this leaving us with nothing but 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus dot dot dot. Overall this thing right here is nothing but our sum running from k equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over k squared <laughs> and this like I said is nothing but our um, zeta of 2 Riemann zeta function of 2 meaning we have algebraically manipulated our eta function into our basic problem leaving us with pi squared over 12 so this thing right here is a real connection between those two so you can do some nice infinite algebra you could say and land at what you want to land and now for the easy method so the next one is pretty much a straightforward approach and well this this first hardcore method basically it takes a lot of inspiration from doing this in a straightforward way okay i've written out zeta of two which is nothing but our basic problem and we still have our eta and why not simply subtract one from the other and see what we get okay we are going to subtract our zeta of two from our eta and yeah then we are going to write stuff out and see what we actually get meaning okay we have zeta of uh, zeta of two that's a nice curly bracket right here minus our eta leaving us with okay writing out the terms zeta of 2 is 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared blah 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 okay up until infinity but also we have negative our eta right here okay just like before this is going to leave us with 1 a negative 1 over 1 squared and then positive 1 over 2 squared negative 1 over 3 squared plus dot 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 up until infinity and you might notice something curious this and that is going to cancel out by the same arguments this thing converges absolutely to a certain value this thing converges absolutely to a certain value you can track the limit where those sums approach infinity to the outside and then you can rearrange terms and et voila stuff is going to turn out quite nicely so all the odd terms are going to cancel out leaving us with 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus dot 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 up until infinity you see all of those are two times leaving us with 2 over 2 squared plus 2 over 4 squared plus 2 over 6 squared plus dot 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 if we just bring all of those to the outside also we can turn this around a little bit so you see we can get back to our zeta function once again if you take a closer look be be because 2 for example 2 is nothing but 1 times 2 but squared okay we can drag the 2 the 2 power the square to all the terms right here it's multiplicative and bring it to the outside 4 is nothing but 2 times 2 but squared okay 6 is nothing but um, 2 times 3 but squared meaning on all of those um, factors down here we, we actually have a 1 over 2 squared of some sort let me write this out just for clarification purposes so we are going to get on each term 2 over 2 squared times 1 over 1 squared plus okay 2 over 2 squared times um, 1 over 2 squared okay I hope you see where this is going then we have plus um, 2 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared uh, times 1 over 3 squared I'm terribly sorry plus dot 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 up until infinity and you see 2 and the squared is going to cancel out on all of those terms leaving us with one half and one half is a common factor on all of those terms meaning 
we are going to get one half times a series over all the reciprocal squared, which is nothing but our theta of two. So this thing right here is actually nothing but one half times theta of two, leaving us with pi squared over 12, okay? Yeah, and this is it. Um, I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend channel if you like. If you want to support channel a bit more, yeah, buy those t-shirts I created and all this other stuff. And click on my Quora questions from time to time to support the channel in an active way by not spending any of your money at all. And if you did enjoy this video, share it everywhere you can. Up until the next video, have a flamble day. See ya, my boys and girls.